In this video, I talk about the new Adobe Captivate 9.0.1 update. Okay, let's get started here. So, uh, there's been some concern. I think some people have, uh, have may have installed the Captivate 9.0.1 update uh, a little bit incorrectly. Um, I've taken a closer look. I made the mistake myself, and uh, I took a closer look at the release notes for this particular update, and I think many of us are probably missing an important step here. Uh, if we scroll down to installation instructions, when you uh, open Adobe Captivate and choose help updates, the application manager appears and it gives you the opportunity to download and install. But once the upgrade is done, before launching Adobe Captivate 9.0.1, it's important that you perform the following steps, three steps for you. The first thing you need to do is clear your preferences by double clicking on the following file. Now this file is located in a folder underneath the program files in the Adobe folder for Adobe Captivate 9. And it's a little folder called Utils, U-T-I-L-S. The location is a little bit different on the Mac. It's uh, Applications, Adobe Captivate 9, Utils, and you're looking for a file called Clean Preferences Mac. Uh, in either case, whether you're looking for the Clean Preferences Mac or Clean Preferences Win.bat, you need to run that file and just simply double click it and you'll see a little flash on your screen in the case of PC users, and that's letting you know that it's run the batch file associated with that particular uh, preferences or set those preferences accordingly. But there's uh, a couple of other steps that you need to perform as well. You need to ensure that you make a backup of the interactions and sample projects folder and then delete them. The sample projects folder are located in this address here, and I'll just show you what that looks like. And uh, the sample projects folder, and you'll also see the interactions folder. Now you may see if you've got a previous version of Captivate here, you will see the interactions folder for version eight, for example. Uh, don't delete that one, you really just wanna delete the Interactions 9, and the Sample Projects. And once that's done, you can then launch Adobe Captivate as you normally would. And then, of course, what you can do is verify that you've been successfully updated by just simply going to the Help drop-down menu and clicking on About Adobe Captivate. If you see version 9.0.1.320, then you know that the update has been successful. So hopefully all of you have uh, successfully updated Adobe Captivate 9. If not, take a look at those release notes. I'll put a link to it down in the description so that you can find it. And uh, hopefully that gets you up and running. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful, useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.